Now this is a story all about how. We're going to twist your life upside down. Now I'd like to take a minute and sit right here. And introduce the Fresh Princes on air. I'm Janella. And I'm Alice. And we're taking you back in time to the 90s. Hey, let's introduce another senior. 90s baby 90s with senior baby news. With senior news. Hey Cavaliers, this is Jamie with Dear Senior News. Prom kits forms are available now in H18 during nutrition only. They are due during prom ticket sale distribution. Interested in buying a senior t-shirt? They are only $15 and you can also purchase them at lunch or nutrition at the student store. And also seniors, prom ticket sales and spirit week are around the corner. That's all the news I have for you. Back to you guys. Hey, do you remember Snoop Dogg, you know, sipping on juice? You know what? I was actually more into the Macarena. The Macarena? Really? It was a huge hit during the 90s. <sighs> Maybe we'll be dancing that in college. Let's go to some college news with Alejandra. Hello Cavaliers, I'm Alejandra with your college news. AP students, please check on the wall of the administration building to see if the correct tests were ordered for you and initial next to your name. If the tests are not correct, please inform Ms. Drell in the college office. CSO Opportunity Scholarship. You must be a first generation student to apply for this scholarship and only certain four year colleges qualify. There is no minimum GPA either. Please see Ms. Drell in the college office for more information. Deadline is May 25th. And now for a special gift from Mr. Rakowskis. Yo, young calves, it's Mr. R. So wherever you are, let me have your attention, please. Because once again, it's spring and the bluebirds sing, but it's time for the CSTs. It's the big state test and you should do your best. And if you must ask why, well, show off what you've learned from the pages you've turned here at Cleveland High. And I gotta warn you, the state of California is going to publish our school's test scores. So the world will know if they're high or low and that'll open up or shut some doors. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Hey, you know what? That's something Forrest Gump would say. Forrest Gump is one of my favorite 90s movies. Mine was Titanic. Don't come any closer now. You're not gonna jump. You don't know me. If you're gonna jump, you would have already done it. Go away, you're crazy. With all the respect, miss, I'm not the one hanging from a fence. I'm Jack Dawson. I'm Rose Duet Book Guitar. Every night in my dreams, I see you. I feel you. No. Cal, stop it! Rose, trust me. Now you die an old lady, warm in your bed, and lots of babies, but not here. No, no. I promise. Jack! Oh my god, Jack! No! Oh my god! Hey, do you remember Hey Arnold? You mean the one with the football shaped head? What are you, Helga, calling him football head? No, he was all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Let's take a break to sports with Leland and Jenny. Hi guys, this is Leland and Jenny with our sports news. Congrats to the boys golf team as they beat Sherman Oaks and remain undefeated. Congrats. Also congrats to the girls track team as they beat Chatsworth. Congrats. And don't forget there will be a track meet on Monday against El Camino. Good luck and watch this clip.
always being afraid to look under my bed. You know what I was always afraid of? Those Furby dolls. You mean the Angry Birds in the 90s? Yeah, exactly. And the Super Nintendo was the temple run of the 90s. You know what scared me? Goosebumps. Speaking of hair raising chills, let's go to someone who always gives club news with thrills. Hey guys, Luigi here with your club news. Please join the ukulele club today after school in H7 for a Friday jam session. And if you were inspired by yesterday's Thousand Hoodie March for Trayvon Martin, then come by to D5 after school for taking action. And lastly, please come to Soulstruck here in the NPR today from 4 to 7. Pre-sale tickets are $6 and at the door will be 8 For more information, watch this clip. that Soulstruck is premiering live tonight in the NPR, so make sure to check that out. We should go. We should. Okay, anyways, I've always wanted to live in San Francisco. Why? So you could live with DJ Michelle and, ooh, Uncle Jesse in Full House. You got it, dude. <laughs> I'll be your next-door neighbor and I'll be like, can we give her, can we give her? It's so <laughs> weird. Yeah. Okay, Gianella, let's calm down and go to some late-breaking news with Mirka. Good morning, Cavaliers. This is Mirka with your late breaking news. Soulstruck is today from 4.30 to 8. Tickets are $6 pre-sale and from any Taste of Peace member or $8 at the door. I heard Mike Isberto from YouTube is going to be there, so if I were you, I would go. And stay tuned to see Miss Curry's class in three weeks for our class act on KCAP. Last but not least, do you like art, writing, or photography? Then join Yearbook 2013. There is a mandatory mm -hmm. meeting today eight at 8 a.m. at lunch. So I hope you guys go there. And that's all I need to have for you guys this week. Back to you guys. We are the kids from the 90s. We were born during or right after the explosion of Britpop. It was Sabrina the Teenage Witch, not Wizards of Waverly Place. It was when light-up sneakers were cool. We are the only people who have lived in two different centuries before we're even 18. Hey, let's recognize those 90s babies with some birthday shout-outs. Woo, birthday shout-outs. Happy birthday to Sebastian from your friends. Happy late birthday to Corelli from Ileana, Ruby, and Karina. Happy birthday to Mai from all your friends and love you. Happy birthday to Wendy Martinez from Jamie and Andrea. Happy late birthday to Raina for me and all your homies in D-Hall. Happy late birthday to Kelsey Jones for Mirka and Emily and all your Cheerios. Now the show must come to an end. But stay tuned for Pennies for Patience. Catch us next week. Same time. Same place. For, for your KCAB news. news. What is Pennies for Patience and why is it so fun? Pennies for Patience is a campaign that helps the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Pennies for Patience is a program that helps find a cure for cancer. The whole school gets in on it. You get your parents in, you get businesses in. It's a big thing. It's our, probably our biggest fundraiser this year. It is so rare that we get an opportunity to be involved in something that is much greater than that, where the students can learn charitable giving, where they can learn uh, a sense of community, where they can learn an opportunity to be simply good citizens. Pennies for Patients is cool because whether you donate a hundred dollars or a penny, you're making a difference in someone's life. And I like the fact that you make a difference in someone's life, it makes a difference in my life.